everybody, this is Luke Darnall, back with another spectacular video, as always. Um, I was just thinking that um, it'd be interesting to show you guys what my latest purchase, free purchase. Um, this is kind of how, um, or just kind of just showing you guys exactly um, how I've generated profit through flipping. What I'm about to sell here very soon. Um, and then flipping it for a call fit or for a profit rather and um using that money to purchase something that i've been wanting um so essentially it becomes free or uh you know it's it just helps me fund my wardrobe essentially so we'll just dive right into it it looks like i have one two three four five six so six pairs um of sneakers and I'll kind of give you guys a glimpse. It looks like four pairs of Air Jordans and then two pairs of Yeezys I will be flipping here. Um, all of these prices, I'm very confident I can, I can flip these for uh, the numbers I will show you guys right here. Um, it's all kind of chicken scratch shit, but these are roughly um, at least the profit margins here and I'll explain each pair. I came to a price, a total uh, profit, um, total of 510. Um, I know that's a lot of money to spend on a pair of sneakers, but I'm telling you, I've been wanting these pair of sneakers for a while and fortunately there hasn't been any um, re-releasing or re-dropping um, of these pair of Yeezys. I'll give a little spoiler there. But before I show you what I ended up um, using that that earned cash on. Um, let me show you what I'm flipping. So, these will be those Yeezys that I just recently gave a review on. Um, so, I'm not gonna take this pair out because you guys just recently saw them. It, it was the, that like dark, um, almost black color um, of just those foam sandals or you know foam slippers for you know mainly your house and i love those i got the ochre colorway though they're so much more cheaper they've been re-releasing do not spend the reselling price on them wait for them just to come back out in any shade of color they feel awesome though once you break them in um and they fit true size to me so um so yeah it's that pair i will be able to make at least 150 on those um, i'm very confident with these numbers um, all these shoes in particular, actually I've, I cop for retail, so it, it's always pretty much a shoe in if you have like the criteria um, of what I use to, to, uh, to find um, certain merchandise or uh, shoes um, appealing enough or um, you know what, what I see value in that I know I can make money off of. Um, if you get it for retail, it's pretty much a shoe and you'll make profit is what I'm getting at. So, the second pair here is the Racer Blue Mids. And I'm, I'm not going to be going into too much detail. I kind of just want to keep this short. Um, but this is what they look like. These are actually really sick. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did give a review of these. Yeah, I did. It's one of my beginner little baby Luca reviews. But these are nice. And I see, I hadn't taken them out until that last time. So, I do keep, I respect, you know, I ain't trying to sneak around in sneakers that I'm trying to, and then claim that they haven't been worn. I ain't like that. I, I don't give a shit. I got some morals, man. So, I kept those nice for whoever gets those. Um, so, I'll be flipping those for 70 uh, cash at least. And then the next one is, I like to call like an Ohio State shoe. So this is like a low special edition. Um, I can see one of my buddies, Brian G, <laughs> on YouTube wearing something like this, but or my brother. I mean, it's very versatile. You can wear this with a lot of stuff, and it's Ohio State colors. So in my area, my neck of woods, it it's attractive to a lot, and it is a nice shoe. It's it's a special edition, so it's it's a higher quality of of suede um, around the toe box and. I really like this, but it's not my style. So, I'm going to pack that away. I just thought it would be interesting to, to, to show you guys exactly what I'm flipping. 
yeah work goes into it but I, I enjoy a lot of this stuff um, and like I said it's a sober based um, habit or hobby but I'm making money so it's not a lot of money but it helps me purchase what I you know truly want so okay the we're on four okay the fourth shoe is these lemons I'm, I'm not sure if I gave a review of these if I did I forget but these are very clean too very very versatile you can wear these with anything and um, so I'll be flipping those for at least 50 bucks so these will just be rising but you know I don't like to hold on to shoes too long and I'll this next one, I've, I've held them way too long, unfortunately. I, I meant to sell it sooner, but see, that's the thing. If you, if you have too much inventory, like, unfortunately, I think I have gotten to. It's it's kind of hard to keep track of everything and flip things um, when you should. So, because timing is a very big thing in a lot of aspects of life. And especially when you when you're dealing with uh, flipping shoes or merchandise. So this fifth one is a favorite of mine. It's a Yeezy 700. It's the Wave Runner classic shoe. I got this for retail. A lot of people have sentimental value when they cop certain shoes like this for retail. I don't, <laughs> but I already have a pair that I paid for resale at some point. So like. And I'm not sure. I may have even got my pair used, but I do love this shoe. Um, it's pretty much the iconic easy shoe in my book. So I will be selling this for roughly 150. I should have sold it a while ago, though. That's what I was I was getting to. Um, I've been waiting. I forgot I had them, honestly. Um, so. Um, and the last and final shoe, this is just like a $40, $50 profit one right here. And it's a woman's shoe only. It retail like $110, so I, I went ahead and picked it up because it's it's a nice summer shoe. I picked this up a couple months ago. Um, and it's like this shinier, but it's leather. Um, habanero red, it's a little, it packs a bit too much of a punch for my liking. I was even debating on keeping it because I'm a Cleveland Browns fan. But it's a little different shade of orange, so. Um, but I haven't worn them or anything. Um, they're nice, um, but size 11 and a half women's. Um, so I'm, I'm confident I can make 40, 50 bucks on that. So with all of those, with all those shoes, um, which helped generate some income for me, which then pretty much I get this shoe, which I will show now. And you know, I am so grateful um, when I when I earn like shoes like this. I I don't I don't remember much in my life that was given to me, and I take a lot of appreciation. And I'm so grateful for everything that I have. So, I mean, that's just how fortunately I was raised. And like, even if somebody gives me something, I'm just so grateful for it because of that mentality. I, I go, I understand the work or. Um, you know the value of it so I am just I find myself grateful all the time um, but here are the shoes that I've been saving for and finally was able to let me get my face out of here out of the way but these are these are the easy they call them like semi-frozen or uh you know, I, I call them the McChicken wrappers too. A lot of people, like, you know, if you buy a McChicken from McDonald's, it's kind of that shade. It's kind of funny. But for whatever reason, um, these weren't sought after for quite some time. And I was always drawn to them when I first started looking at sneakers. Um, so I just got these. So like the tag is still on them, and so I got them from Stock X. Um, and I did kind of my examination too, real quick, because unfortunately you have to double check as well just to make sure. Because sometimes you know mistakes are, are made. Um, and even Stock X, these people who are supposed to uh, 
verify that the quality and the authenticity can make mistakes so but I think this is a dope ass sneaker and you can tell I got my work shirt on so I'll, like if it's a, a office day and I'm just gonna be bidding work looking at work stay in the office mainly keeping it chill I'm gonna be rocking these so I'm not gonna be working on machinery or nothing like that or reading the field I love this shoe and I'm this is a shoe that you want to keep clean because um, I've seen some pictures and it, it just looks kind of trashy you know, once it gets dirt so you want to be selective on wearing these and keep them nice don't wear them when it's shitty weather out or rainy as fuck you don't want mud on these but I love these man so so grateful I'll uh, show you guys the box that's exactly what they are so the 350 v2s i'll have to show you guys kind of like what i'm rocking generally these days <clears throat> but this is the loudest shoe i will have now and that's just the the yay in me the kanye in me i love these um so i think these like are so fire i mean these arguably are, it might be my favorite yeezy i mean i don't know you never know until you start wearing them and getting them out in public but i can already tell man this is like i love like it's a loudness but it's not like an aggressive loudness it's and especially since people call them the mcchickens it adds some like personality and like it's just dope and then that 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 spline 350 that's always been savage i mean shit like that's a tat right there bro so but yeah, with that, um, I just, yeah, I mean, I thought it'd be interesting to some people who are new to flipping anything, because um, it takes little effort if you kind of adopt this habit on just entering yourself into raffles or um, going for certain shoe droppings at a certain time and just setting your, your, your smartwatch um, or uh, your phone and just as reminders, I mean, just enter these things as they come. If you don't enter them and you're busy, that's fine too. But if you can, why not? And that's kind of what I do. There's a lot of raffles and draws that I miss out on because I'm working. That's fine. But I save up over time whenever I hit all these little base sets. Where did I get that? Slip. There we go. And then once I get to like a, a good profit... There we go. So like 510, like these were expensive. So it took me some time. I mean, six pairs of shoes. Six pairs of shoes it took me for me to uh, to finally save up enough. Because um, I work a lot too. But when it comes to materialistic things, it's just hard for me to really like spend much money because trends come and go so quickly it seems and um so although i'm so selective uh, i definitely am trying to fund um wardrobe and aesthetics and self-expression kind of stuff um the best i can on top of already making money the old tried and true habits that i already have less materialistic but it's fun to get creative um, with expression and all the above so that's kind of where I'm at and I love it so that's why I promote um, and I hope to inspire um, but yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I uh, I have a number of other items that I'll be flipping um, but you know I just don't look for shit to buy um, so like this pink hoodie which I told you guys it copped, but here it actually is. It's actually really nice. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the like high quality stuff like that. Supreme t-shirts and sweatshirts usually are pretty damn like good. Like when it's Supreme like that, like other than my doves, I don't know about that one that's a little thin. Um, but like the, the bot, the BOGOs, it's usually quality. Like. They have a good reputation with the BOGOs, and that is super nice, um, but it just doesn't fit me. So, for me, 
it's not worth the fat like it doesn't hold value for me but i can see where in the certain through the certain eyes of another individual it does so um so just know you know what you want it's very powerful to, to decide or decipher whether this is for me and if it's not for me um do don't be fomo don't think you want something when you really don't so um but yeah i'll be flipping that for probably at least 200 250 possibly even 300 i don't know how long i want to hold it that's the thing there's opportunity cost at that point um so yeah i'll i'll be doing these little videos here to kind of just update you and how I'm generating income to fund self-expression, essentially. So, with that said, I hope you guys are staying inspired. I hope you guys are pushing yourselves, um, taking care of yourselves. Remind yourself um, until it sticks. So, with that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.